Welcome to Max's Garage Mahal, where we run them like we stole them and fix them if we break them. All right, so what we're doing here is, I'll give you an idea. I bet you can hear that even way over there with that microphone. We're replacing bearings in the deck, and we're also going to replace the idler bearing back there at the engine for the hydro gears for the pumps and such. All right, now this has really been a job getting all this stuff loose, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna demonstrate how to do it because I've already got all the spindles, uh, the blades off, and the spindle pulleys off. And one, I've already knocked the bearings out, so we're gonna get the middle one and the outside one over here on the left side next. But what we are gonna show you is what you need to do it because we're gonna show you how if you don't have a bearing press, you don't have a shop nearby or a friend that has a shop with a bearing press then or a vice um, we're going to show you how to do the uh, max's garage mahal redneck bearing press method and you can see the bearings are now gone which means i've removed them already here is the bearing spacers you'll have one of these between the bearing on the top and the bottom and all you really need is on this particular mower you've got two pieces of metal that your cover mounts on so I just put the spindle housing right there that took two thick pieces of the blade used a punch and you can see it's pretty greasy inside there used a punch and a nice size little hammer here, a little four pound hammer. And you take it and you angle this in and you catch the bearings like this right here. Catch the bearing out here on the race and you drive it this side, that side, this side, this side, and it'll come right out. Flip it over. Now, before I took and used to get the top one out, um, I went ahead and dropped this into the hole that the spindle came out of right here and I just used the deck to hold now there's your redneck Max's Garage Mahal redneck bearing press Let's see if we can do a little bit of demonstration here and how that PVC pipe works. Make sure I don't knock over the camera. Well, it worked pretty good until that one. <laughs> Alrighty then, that tells you how tight these spindle bolts are. So, let's go to another one. Anyway, now let's demonstrate real quickly before we go how to drive these puppies out. We'll just take the bolts here, make sure you can see that. That the spindle. We're going to give this thing a little bit of a love tap here. Take it on down here a ways first. Use all the threads to get it started. This, is, yeah, this one's coming out fairly easily. That's nice. Now you really wouldn't have to take this spindle housing out of the deck to do this. Um, I just prefer to do that so I can inspect it and clean it up real nice and put it back in. But again, it's really not necessary. <laughs> Didn't break that one. Didn't break the pipe. I broke the bolt loose. One more for this one. Then I got middle one over there to get and then it's going to be more difficult this in the middle of the mower ah, yeah, lady. mercy
Okay, demonstration. Now here's the spindle out of this side right here. And this one wasn't sticking up through there as far. This one has a washer between the spindle and the bottom bearing. So I need to check for alignment on these things and make sure that the deck isn't warped somehow that's causing this one to need a washer between the spindle shank right here and the bearing because if that's what it takes to line it up then something is not right something what is going on as I normally say something what is going on all right so let's put that right there on that greasy rag we're going to pick this puppy up right here in this oversized tinkering hammer we're going here and you hear that that's the bearing we want down here see how hard that was to get out those things are not really pressed in per se so anybody can do this okay we've got our care package of of uh, bearings in here By golly, it looks like we got what we ordered. Let's check them against one of the originals here. All right. There you go. All right, let's get this thing cleaned up and put back together. So bear with me. We'll start this video again just a minute. Okay. We're going to take this little claw hammer right here. And we're going to start inserting... You're going to hit the outside race, not the inside. Don't hit the inside here. Do not hit that bearing race. Here you go. Y'all remember that? That's from that last bearing we took out in the center. Alright, let's take this punch and hold it with this paper towel and we're going to hit this strike this sucker right out here on the outside race make sure that the only thing you're going to hit with it then we're going to seat this on the inside bearing stop down here now then let's take our finger Feel that and that feels really nice. Can you see that thing rotating? Sorry about that. Well, it's smooth. Okay. Got happen to get the same brand, everything of the of the bearings. And six of these bearings with tax shipped was $39 and some odd cents. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of them in and we'll come back at them in and we'll come back. It seems like it's been about 100 years since we've been out here. And we were removing these bearings from these idler pulleys. And now that we have in these bearings, which we purchased 10 Let's install these rascals. Now this one hadn't been taken out. This was the hardest to get to and the easiest to take off. I'm going to take these things. Let's see. All right. Let's go ahead and take this one out of here real quick. Now we're going to place this on the deck. Well, that fits a little too well. Okay, so now what we're going to do keep these in here if we get these things settled down good and flat we're going to take a piece of metal and actually first thing we're going to do we're going to try to drive these things over like this Can't 
move. All right, 10 of these bearings with shipping. You heard them before. Uh, 10 of those bearings with shipping was $13.19. So a little bit of labor. This is about $55, $60 with the bearing in it. And these were like $49 with the bearing in it. So we just put a bearing. That bearing cost me $1.10 plus the tax. So that's like $1.30 with the, the tax. We grab this trash. Sorry, chasing the rag. Didn't want to get in somebody else's yard. That wouldn't be very neighborly of me. So, what I'm trying to teach you here is, if you if you don't mind spending just a little bit of labor, then you can make these machines go a lot longer without spending a whole lot of money, but it is a little bit of labor involved. And I'm trying to show you how to do this with the minimal amount of tools required and I mean, I'm talking just a claw hammer here. I mean, I can go in there and I can get the machinist hammers out. I can get the mechanics hammers out. I can do all that stuff. But is it necessary? No, you don't have to have high dollar expensive tools to do these modifications and these repairs. It's really simple to do. And if you want to drive this down all the way around, that's fine. It's not going to be necessary to do that. Uh, but you can if you want, if you have lots of energy, then by all means do so. But as you can see, that's captured and there's no way that's going to come out. So I'm going to be happy with that. I think the machine will be happy with it. And uh, that's what we're going to go with. Now, this one right here is going to go in a little tougher. And that's okay too. Don't hit this inside race like I told you and showed you on other installs already in this video. All right. Now then, we'll go ahead and do one more of these things, show you how this is done one more time. And then, I'm going to stop the camera, get it done, and then we'll go in there and install these things and get it fired up and tested. Now, I ground this down quite a ways on this particular one. So on this particular pulley, we may have to drive and crimp this over all the way around, but do this on the opposite side so I don't tear a glove. Smooth as glass. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, there they are. All back together. Runs nice and smooth. We'll open up the doors here in a little bit. We'll fire this thing up and let you listen to it. As you can see, the blade tips are where they need to be can't move that one because I got the belts on really tight which is nice okay so let's move up we'll fire this thing up look how that spread I did fire it up a while ago and all that oil dry was back there just that side of that jack stand where the oil drips at and now it's way out here all over the shop so those blades even though they're pulling air up to the deck it hits the deck and it spreads out also goes way across the shop over there all right so we'll be right back and we'll fry this thing up a little bit of throttle which that really doesn't do anything it's the computer's doing it so anyway let it prime okay
Did you notice there's no bearing noise? Usually. Those are the original pulleys right there. As well as, I don't know if I can get it where you can see it over here or not. Right up under there is an original. That's how you go about replacing your spindle bearings here. Those were three dollars a piece. I think with tax it was like three sixty. So there's two, four, six, and the total for the shipping was thirty nine dollars. And I replaced one, two, three of those bearings. Gives me seven more if I need them. And the ten bearings cost me. $12.90 with shipping, with tax rather. So you're looking at $39 and on just the three of the 10 bearings, you're talking about about $350. So for $43.50, I replaced all the bearings on this machine. And that's not bad. This pulley here is $64 from Hustler, and that's with the lawnmower products uh, discount. And this for these two here. So, how much we're talking about? 128. And then the third one back there, which is a small five inch like the one underneath, uh, those are 49. So, 100. And we're talking about uh, $228 for the four pulleys if you buy them like that which means all you're doing is you're buying a pulley that's just got a, a dollar bearing in it so if you'll do it similar to the way I did mine there's more ways to do that than, than the way I did it mine's very simple um, you just grind off one side of the pulley push the bearing out push the new bearing in and then crimp the material around which is all they've done crimp the material around the bearing to hold it in place Fire that sucker up and you're ready to go. We appreciate you stopping by Max's Garage Mahal. And uh, as we always say here, y'all come back and see us now, you hear?